Well, you know what else is uh, celebrating its 30th anniversary this year? And in fact, the day of this recording, I believe, is the 30th anniversary of its release to theaters. Friggin' Ghostbusters. <laughs> I loved Ghostbusters as a kid. As much as I love Transformers, I'd say I, I love Ghostbusters just as much. Um, I was four in 1984. I was not old enough to go see that movie in a theater. Um, my sister did. She was, I think, seven. I was insanely jealous. But my parents weren't about to let me go see what, in their mind, was essentially a comedy horror movie. Um, and I can't say as I blame them, that movie scared the hell out of me when I saw it on, on videotape the first time. Oh my god, I was terrified, but... I was exhilarated. Oh my, it was the it was the best damn thing I think I'd ever seen. Um, now, now to com in part to commemorate uh, this auspicious occasion, uh, Lego, uh, they have, I guess you could call it a crowdsourcing project. Uh, they've been running for a few years called Lego QSO, um, which has recently um, had a branding change. It is now called Lego Ideas. And... Um, Basically, they have people submit their ideas for models, and people vote on them. When they hit, uh, if they hit uh, 10,000 upvotes, then they go into the official LEGO review process. And um, if they get approved, if licensing works out, then they get released as an official LEGO product. And the latest one in this series, the first one to be branded under LEGO Ideas, Goddamned Ecto-1! <laughs> I, when I found out about this, oh my god, if I could have gone back in time and told my five-year-old self that someday I would be holding in my hands an officially licensed Lego Ecto-1, I would probably have passed out from excitement. As Transformers was my favorite show, Ghostbusters was easily my favorite movie. And when the animated series started, I started collecting all the toys. It was the best thing in the world. That was my favorite franchise. And I've done a little bit of reading lately on the production of that movie. And the whole thing was just a comedy of errors. But the fact that it came together into such a masterpiece that um, I finally had an opportunity to see in a theater a couple of years ago. And it holds up so well. It is such a great movie. But... Um, I am so excited to have this in my collection, so uh, let's take a peek. <clears throat> this thing stands out on the shelf. That, uh, that white car with the green and blue, it's just, it's super attractive. I saw this from the hallway in the mall when I went to the Lego store to buy it the other day. I, you can't miss it. It stands out so vividly on uh, on Lego shelves. I was super super excited. I just made a beeline straight for it. Um, it's just a it's a very dramatic photo of the model and the uh, and the figures. Uh, it comes with figures of all four Ghostbusters. Um, no Slimer, which I'll admit was kind of a bummer, but I don't. They would have had to make you know a Slimer piece really in order to make one, or it'd be brick built and it'd be really complicated. But um, uh, box side has some information about the, the QSO slash Lego Ideas project, um, the submission to uh, uh, licensed product. Um, other side, I don't know why it's just in uh, French and Spanish, but it says who you're gonna call. Uh, box top has your photos of your uh, of your minifigures. Box back has uh, the car again and. Um, just some other photos and uh, some Photoshop details. The instruction booklet is very unlike a typical Lego instruction booklet. It's not stapled like most. This is a properly bound book. And uh, it starts with uh, some information about the, uh, the Ghostbusters, the characters, and the, uh, the movie. And then it goes into both French and Spanish of the same information. And then finally, assembly begins with the, uh, the figures, as well as a display stand for them. Uh, each one gets a, uh, uh, gets a brick-built proton pack with a neutron wand, as well as uh, another brick-built accessory uh, in a ghost trap that one can carry in a couple of, uh, 
of walkie-talkies. Uh, assembly of the car starts with the frame and then just starts moving up. There's a lot of uh, advanced techniques in it. Uh, what fans have come to call the SNOT technique, which is an acronym for uh, studs not on top, which is how you end up with the uh, uh, studs on the side of the car. You can see on the uh, side fins and also the side panels, that's how they attach, is uh, through uh, clever techniques. Um, and uh, once assembly is complete, the back of the booklet has some more information about the uh, the original designers of the uh, the model who submitted it to uh, what still was at the time Lego Cuso, um, as well as uh, an itemized list of each of the different bricks used, and um, some information about Lego ideas for uh, potential new submissions. Um, but it's a really nice booklet. It's a very heavy, uh, durable cardboard uh, outer. Uh, you know, outer cover, and then uh, you know, good he uh, good proper paper in the middle. Uh, the minifigures look great. Uh, we've got our uh, Winston, Peter, Egon, and Ray, each one with uh, their brick-built uh, proton packs with uh, their neutrona wands, or whatever it is you want to call them, that uh, can be stowed on the backpack or held in hand. Um, they all look fantastic. Uh, e Egon has his huge pompadour, which just looks ridiculous and I always thought was hilarious as a kid, but they uh, each have an accessory. Uh, Winston has the ghost trap, uh, Peter and Ray each have their uh, walkie-talkies, and Egon has a, a little PKE meter. I actually, this was not uh, in the instructions. I got this idea from another toy reviewer, uh, Pia, um, who... Uh, I, I watch his stuff quite frequently, but he hasn't done a review of this set, but he posted a picture on Twitter of uh, Egon with uh, a PKE meter made up of just a couple of spare parts, and I thought it was a great idea, so I shamelessly ripped him off. Um, each figure has uh, double printed uh, so, uh, heads, so you've got uh, your standard smile or stoic expression and then a terrified expression on for each one. So yeah, you can see each of them has a, a frightened expression to go with their more calm uh, demeanor. Um, the brick-built uh, proton packs are fantastic. Uh, you can see there's some uh, printed bricks for the uh, uh, particle accelerators, I guess you'd call them at the bottom, and they just look really cool. But um, they look fant uh, fantastic even when they're bald but uh, they're just hilarious, and I love that they included this display stand. But as much as you all love the figures, I'm sure, the car is the big selling feature of this set. It looks fantastic. It is uh, based on uh, a, a 1959 Cadillac ambulance. Um, I love the classic tail fins. I love the long, wide, flat uh, stature of it. The front end looks amazing. Like looking at pictures of the actual car and comparing it to the model, it just looks fantastic. I mean, they've even got the uh, the whip antenna uh, that's uh, adjustable. Um, all the gadgets on the roof look incredible. Uh, there's a little satellite dish that you can rotate a little bit. Um, some of them, some of the other ones, can rotate from side to side a little bit. Um, other side, there's a cables that run up the length of it. Uh, it's just super cool and um, the roof does pop off so you can have access to the interior. Uh, there's room only for three Ghostbusters inside which is kind of a drag unless you want to have one laying down on the uh, the deck here. Um, it would have been nice if the whole thing had been maybe 10% bigger so you could actually fit all four but you know what are you gonna do? It's uh, They were trying to stay within a budget. Um, None of the doors open. There's no detailed uh, hood or, uh, or other opening panels, uh, save for the uh, removable roof. But you can see there is a steering wheel in the uh, driver's compartment, and there's a little computer terminal. And um, you can always pretend that this is from the early part of the movie before Winston joined the team when there were only three Ghostbusters, even though, you know, Winston is awesome.
<laughs> um, I love the way they did the t the the fins. Um, you know, they got the uh, the brake light cones on the end of them. The uh, uh, license plate on the back and the printed uh, Ghostbusters logo. Uh, there's no stickers in this set. Every all the printing is all printed bricks, um, which is a great feature. I love when they do that because I hate stickers. And um, my last review of the uh, the Predaking was a huge pain in the ass because I had to put on like 75 stickers for that thing, and I I hate stickers. But um, no, this thing is super super fun. Um, uh, Canadian retail was uh, $60, which eh, it's a bit on the pricey side. Uh, I believe U.S. retail is $45. Uh, it's uh, about 500, it's 508 pieces, plus a few spares, uh, as you often end up with, uh, with Lego sets. Um, but um, it's super cool, and I'm super happy that it came out, and I, I, it's a... Um, it's probably it's, this is hands down my favorite Lego build that I've done probably since January, uh, when I did the uh, the big Lego camper. Um, this is my I believe my third uh, set in the uh, QSO Ideas series after the uh, the first uh, their first Minecraft Micro World and the Back to the Future DeLorean. Um, I like their Minecraft set, and the DeLorean was really neat, but this one trumps them all, uh, hands down. In terms of uh, detail, accuracy, cost, value, oh, I, I'm, I'm just super in love with this thing. I mean, just look at that front end! Oh my god, I love it so much! That grill and those headlights and, oh god, and the, just the, oh, the profile of that hood is just, it's the best. And all that, all that greebly gadget... Oh, I'm geeking out so hard. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch Ghostbusters as soon as I'm done this. <laughs> oh man! If you can find one, if you have a Lego store within 200 miles, go buy this thing. If you have any love for Ghostbusters, if you have any love for Lego, even if it's just one or the other, and not necessarily both, you owe it to yourself to have this on your shelf because it is that awesome. This is my, fa uh, my favorite Lego build of the last several months. Um, uh, debatably, it's my favorite Lego build of all time. Uh, and you owe it to yourself to have one. Um, God, here. Look at the attention to detail. This thing has windshield wipers. They're made of antennas, or it's a little silly. But it has freaking windshield wipers! I gushed! Super hard when I figured that out. When I, I was trying to figure out why there were antennas placed like this. And then I look a little more closely and I'm like, wait a minute. Those are supposed to be windshield wipers. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the coolest thing ever. Go buy it. Go buy it. Go freaking buy it. <laughs> Have you bought it yet? What are you waiting for? Go to the Lego store. Do it. God damn it. Go do it right now. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe how much I'm gushing over this thing. This is, the, this is the greatest thing in the world. This is the greatest goddamn thing in the world. I wish I could go back to when I was five and hand this to myself and just say, Here, kid, have fun. Oh, I would lose my mind. Little five-year-old me would just go out of his freaking mind with excitement. If you don't have a Lego store nearby, it is available on Lego's Shop at Home website. Um... I'm not sure if they're listed as in stock at the moment. If they are, grab one sooner rather than later because these are going to sell out real fast. And the rumor I'm hearing is that it's going to be a relatively small production run, not like the DeLorean or the Minecraft stuff, which you can still find on Toys R Us shelves months after release and they keep uh, re reissuing them. Um, like my own Toys R Us, I think, has. Like the first three Minecraft sets, uh, like maybe a dozen of each, and uh, probably a half dozen DeLoreans uh, just sitting on the shelf that have been there for probably a month. Um, so yeah, there's a good chance that there's going to be a much smaller production run on this one, which is such a shame because it is such a great model. Um, so yeah, if you, ha if you have the means to get your hands on one, do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do not wait, because it is 
that freaking rad. Um, everything about this thing is just perfect. Uh, there's there's nothing I would have changed. Um, so that said, um, thank you everyone out there for watching, and happy collecting. And get your ass to the Lego store.